Good morning, Franklin. I'm Eric Stuckey, your city administrator. It's Monday morning and it's time for the top three things you need to know this week. I am with two of the busiest people in the world right now, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Merry Christmas. <laughs> They're out here uh, right in front of Ruby Sunshine, right here in downtown Franklin. And, uh, you know, it's been a busy 2019. We're going to talk about what's coming up in 2020. But these folks are here uh, greeting people in downtown Franklin. Not a better place to be right before the holidays. Exactly. And you all have a great time. Uh, don't work too hard oh, tomorrow night. We're already working hard. Take care. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, okay, so 2019 has been a great year. Last year I talked to you about several of the things that are going on, uh, have happened this past year. And let's talk a little bit about what to look forward to in 2020. Um, you know, I dropped my post-it so I don't have it, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. I, I think I can remember. Uh, I talked a little bit about projects. We got some big projects coming up in 2020. We'll be bidding early in the year. The Franklin Road Project, which will improve the roadway and bring uh, sidewalks from downtown out to the factory in that area. So we'll have that uh, project getting bid and getting ready to go. We're also working on the trail project that'll bring the, a multi-use trail in from the west side uh, all the way from around Freedom Middle School into downtown. And we already have a trail that goes out further west uh, to the Carlisle neighborhood. So that'll be an important connector to help people get in and around to downtown without having to jump, jump in your car. You can get in your bike or walk or jog, uh, take your stroller down to downtown Franklin. So that's a nice improvement. Of course, we'll be working on parks. We have an exciting new partnership with Franklin Special School District. Uh, we'll be starting a project to improve ball fields at uh, Freedom Middle School, Poplar Grove campus and that'll be a nice improvement along with some other amenities there that'll serve the schools but also serve the community. So uh, we're excited about the partnership and how that will leverage that land. Of course projects will continue like Mac Hatcher extension and the wastewater treatment plant, water reclamation facility expansion and upgrade there and uh, a number of the other projects we've been talking about getting ready to do McEwen phase four will probably be bidding that about a year from now. So those projects will be a big thing. We'll continue to work on growth management. We know that's a critically important issue. Uh, we've done a lot of planning, new zoning ordinance that supports our land use plan, infrastructure plans that we've talked about, working closely with the county who's updating their land use plan right now. And in fact, in late January, we're gonna meet jointly with the mayor and aldermen and the uh, county commissioners to talk about land use and how uh, the two connect city and county land use visions work together. So again, land use, and, and one of the key ways we manage growth and, and talk about that as I've, I've shared with you before is we have plans, long-term plans around infrastructure and, and service needs. We also have uh, the willingness and capacity to invest in it. Uh, as I've shared with you before, we've invested 170 million in the last five years in infrastructure. That number will double in the next five years. So we're making major investments in infrastructure. And then finally, we have the, the guidelines and regulations in place to support high quality development and also make sure that impact fees and contributions are made so that growth helps pay for itself, whether it's infrastructure, schools, all those elements work together. So that's item number two, growth management. And then our third and final item is really just continuing to invest in service enhancements. You'll see blue bin recycling rolling out in the first quarter of the year as we move from bags to this, the uh, rollout bins, which will make our recycling product easier to process and more attractive to the recycling market, which is a more challenging thing than it used to be, uh, and also make it more convenient and, and safer for our team to, uh, to deliver those services to you. And then, of course, Fire Station 7, which is underway. We hope to see that completed this year and then continue to enhance our services across the board in public safety and recreation and parks and in everything we do to serve you. And that's our, our look forward into 2020. Should be a great year. Uh, it's our honor to serve you and, and this wonderful community and wish you the very best for the holidays and into the new year. That's it, Franklin. Have a great week.